What about the girl in there? You're not going to turn her loose? Of course not. Get rid of her now. Hold it. Throw your guns away. Have you gone crazy, Dranga? Throw them away. Marston! <laughs> Another way out of this place? Down that passage. Come on. Got some news. Just came from the trading company's store. I left some gold bars there to be shipped out by Marston. Did you find out what he plans to do with Dranga? I found out that Dranga is dead. He was killed instantly when that plane crashed. Then Marsden pulled a fast one on us. Yes, he's nobody's fool. We lost a valuable man. Yeah. Now we've got no way of getting information about Marsden's plans. There's a way to manage that. We'll plant this wireless dictaphone in Marsden's bungalow. Snell, you know how it works. Set it to our wavelength. Watch outside the Mars and bungalow until you're sure the coast is clear. We don't want any slip-ups. present from the chief. Shall I keep it for a pet? Oh, all right, if you think you share the fruit with us. <laughs> well, the chief must be softening up. Yes, he's willing to confer with you. I didn't tell him you were trying to get permission for outside workers to enter the coconut plantation. Well, I think I can sell him the idea. Once I get the men in there, the natives might lose their fear of Haunted Harbor. We're to be at the chief's village tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. You know, it might be well to bring him a present. Mm, I've got a portable radio at the store. I'll take that along. That's a splendid idea. Good. There must be some way to stop this conference without showing our hand. There is a way. That portable radio he's going to give the chief. If that radio caused the chief's death, what would happen to Marsden? Well, he'd be out of our way forever. All right, we'll arrange it. I'll send some men tonight to install a special attachment in that radio while Mars and the others are at the bungalow. When is the next boat due, Jim? Three days, but I have some valuable cargo for it. Kane gave me $50,000 worth of gold bars to ship. 50,000? That's a lot of gold. That's a lot more than I want to keep in that safe in the store. 
Hey. <laughs> that monkey's got worse manners than an ape. Blooming <laughs> monkey. You're clumsier than the monkey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at this. What is it? It's a wireless dictaphone. Carter's men again. I wonder what they could be after this time. Whoever was listening must have heard what we said about the gold in your safe. That's it. Yank, you and Tommy go to the store and bring the gold here. We'll keep it under guard until it's shipped. On the double. Greg really thought of something when he hooked up this rocket oscillator. Just how does it work? It hooks on to the radio tubes. When the radio is turned on and the tubes are hot enough, the heat is transmitted to this oscillator and the firing pin will do the rest. A nice present for the chief. We got here just in time. Open the safe while I phone Jim. Hello? Well, good work, Yank. Yeah, Patricia was right. They were after the gold. Well, they didn't get it. We'll bring it up there right away. Good. And bring that portable radio along. I'm going to take it to the native village tomorrow. Right, Chief. I'm sorry, Captain Marston. I cannot allow other workers to enter our plantations. It would be surrendering the rights it has taken my people years to establish. Well, then why not let your men return to work under my protection? They would never go so near to the sea demons in Haunted Harbor. If we drive out these so-called demons, will you reconsider your decision? I'm afraid you speak the impossible. But what if it proves to be possible? In that case, we shall confer once again. Oh, I wish to thank you once again for the gift you have brought me. You're quite welcome, Chief. Let me show you how it operates. 
Turn on this switch. It is the magic box brought by the captain. with the magic box? Very pleased. But it isn't magic. It's purely mechanical, based on the harnessing of sound waves. I do not understand. I only fear that it is magic, that it invokes evil forces. Oh, there's nothing evil about it. about this than you do. You brought the devil box here to slay our chief. Devil box! Death! Death! Please, please, you must listen. Your words are useless. This guilt is pine. Our tribal law decreased the punishment. Death by fire. No. Prepare no. the funeral pyre. <laughs> <laughs> 